The Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence Research Division is one of the newest ones here at TRI. HCAI is a multidisciplinary group of researchers that come from the backgrounds of behavioral science, machine learning, and human-computer interaction. In HCAI, we have three areas that we focus on. The first one is carbon neutrality, the second one is future product innovation, and the third one is harmonious communities. We believe that the goal of AI should be to augment, enhance, amplify humans' natural capabilities rather than displace or automate those abilities. When we think about the, the problem that is creating a carbon neutral planet, ultimately people are the ones that have to do the work of adopting novel technologies, of changing their behavior. And in order for people to do that, we have to understand what their barriers are. What is it that they enjoy or don't enjoy about those technologies? What is it that they understand? How is it easiest for them to understand it? How can we convey our message and our goals, how we're trying to create opportunities for them to contribute to carbon neutrality? As we get toward thinking about the longer term, we think about what new technologies should Toyota invest in? What are the paths that are going to be beneficial because they'll be easier for people to adopt? It's really helpful to be at Toyota to have so many different partners in this process of figuring out how to support adoption of carbon neutral technologies. We've got our energy and materials team, for example, and they're thinking about batteries and battery usage and battery lifetime. And then our team is trying to understand all of these different behavioral components and how do people use their batteries. And if we can bring these things together, then we can build better technology that is easy for people to incorporate into their lives. Within the Future Products Innovation Pillar, we're really focused on two core questions. One of which is how can we understand and predict what the customer wants in the future. What we're trying to do is use physiological data with people's self-reports to predict future market behavior. And the second part is really how can we take that understanding and incorporate it into the decision-making process of individuals and of Toyota as a whole to arrive at more creative and better decisions. So you're seeing tools right now, such as Dolly or other large text-to-image or text-to-video models in which people can type a very simple prompt and get a whole bunch of different images or a whole bunch of different videos. This has the potential to revolutionize creative work of many different forms. And the question of really how do you focus what's being generated in such a way that it meets the constraints of the designer or of the physical world or of what people actually want in a product Solving those types of problems will be necessary if they're going to be useful to Toyota. So our department of Harmonious Communities started from Akio Toyota's statement that Toyota Motor Company should be focused on producing happiness for all. When you dig into the nuances of the Japanese word that underlies that phrase, it's actually much more around the concept of how do we facilitate and enable collective well-being across the globe. All of those very visible, visceral ways in which we experience difference are often at the root of conflict. The only way to create harmony or to really pull a community together is through empathy. That is the skill that allows us to connect back to the very people around us is by understanding how their experience is different from ours and then working toward a collaborative situation. And so we're taking this as a first step to see if we can leverage some of these newer technologies to actually build connection and involvement in local policy issues. As much as these technologies might be the very source of fracturing that we're seeing politically and, and socially, could we actually rethink how they're used and the value that they serve to be a source of pulling people together as well? The people are exceptional and they've chosen to be here because they feel passionately about our goal of improving collective well-being, AI to improve human quality of life, and we're given the resources, the space, the ability to pursue these really big questions. And so it's a combination of people who are idealistic, but at the same time are incredibly dedicated and passionate and hardworking and understand that you can't just have a dream, you actually have to work at it. 
Toyota's been around for almost 100 years, and we want to continue to be an important global company and brand for the next 100 years and in the future. And when we look around and we think of these challenges that the world is facing, it poses in some ways an existential threat to our society and to our human life as we know it. And so I think caring about this should be everyone's problem. And I'm glad and I'm proud that it's something that Toyota cares about.